this is Sega Superstar and today I'll be doing another plush review on this Sonic plush here he was made in the UK uh, around 991 to 992 I believe on Switch there's no plush, plush tag there um, he's relatively in, in fantastic condition considering uh, the age so um, I obtained him on eBay maybe I think four or five months ago and um, he comes as a set. I've got towels with him as well, which I'll uh, I'll do a future review on that. And uh, yeah, um, I just thought I'd do a review because he's quite a unique design, you know. Um, it's quite a fluffy, fuzzy design on this one, you see, because it's not as smooth as any other modern plush you get today. So um, as you can see, he's got a classic look on him. He's quite obviously would be classic. So. There's no eye damage there on the eyes. His nose really well positioned and quite a good size. Uh, can't really see his mouth in this one, but you can tell it's there if you look closely. Just covered up by all the fuzziness. <laughs> uh, uh, you can see on this plush, he has four fingers and one thumb in his hand. Sometimes in some plush designs they don't really do that, they're sort of lazy, they just do sort of like a glove or something like that, but they actually took the time and consideration to actually make it like a small hand, so it's quite cool. Uh, it's got quite a big stomach for this one, I think, quite soft, well made. Um, I love the design of his spikes in the back, I mean, it's quite really well done, the fabric's really well done on it, the design. Quite a lovely look on it, really. Um, as you can see, there's his tail. And as you can see, if you look closely enough, it's actually not as fuzzy as the rest of the plush. Which is quite different. It's a good little uh, touch on there. Um, if you look at his shoes here, that classic, long, pointy, classic design. So you can go through there like that. Quite weird. Good design, but nice socks there. Um, I think I paid for both. I think it was fifteen pound altogether for both plushes, so I'm relatively happy with that since these plushes are in amazing condition. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's Origin. You could. When they, when they were released, obviously in 991, you could obtain these through um, Sega World in London, which is um, unfortunately not around anymore, which is a shame. But yeah, apart from that, you can get them from eBay. I mean, they're not they're not these, these plushies ain't ain't that rare, which is a bit strange really. But I just guess there was quite a lot made of them at the time. So yeah, you can obtain them on eBay, Amazon. But apart from that, that's where you can get them from. Oh yeah, quite nice thick ears, good design there, strong stitching, really, really made, this plush is really well made for its time, um, so yeah, I'd say he's about, ten or eleven inches maybe, as a guess, I'm not too sure, but he isn't a small plush, he's relatively medium size I'd say right. yeah it's quite nice, I do recommend him to have him in your collection yeah. well that's it guys subscribe, comment and thanks for watching